Hey, I'm Lake Four Guide Stephen Fothery, and I want to talk about a technique that I, uh, I really like to use whenever the fishing gets extremely tough, and that is flipping a jig tight to cover. Now out here on Lake Fork, that comes in the form of submerged timber. Other lakes, you may be looking at boat docks, you may be looking at bushes, or uh, just laid over trees coming off the bank. Those are also good areas to flip a jig. Um, as far as the process of flipping a jig, it's pretty simple. Just uh, make sure you make accurate pitches directly to the base of whatever you're throwing. Now after you pitch this jig out, make sure that you let it fall on slack line. That way it's not going to swing away from the cover, it's going to fall directly into that cover. Pay close attention too because a lot of times the bites are going to be really subtle, really light. Sometimes you may not even feel a bite, you may just pick up and feel uh, some mushiness, you'll just feel some weight and you want to be able to set the hook fast and pull those fish out of that cover. That's really key and uh, in order to do this you have to have the right gear. I like to use 20 to 25 pound fluorocarbon line and a seven and a half foot flipping rod. This is a Legend Extreme from St. Croix. It's super sensitive which is key because it can be tough to feel these subtle jig bites. As far as the weight of your jig you can't go wrong with a three eighths or a half ounce. Generally from 10 to 15 foot I'm going to throw a half ounce and from 10 foot shallower I'll tie on that three eighths. You know if you can flip a jig to trees and you can pattern exactly exactly how deep these fish are, you can catch a ton of big bass like this guy right here. Hey, you just learned how to flip a jig tight to cover to catch big largemouth bass. Good luck fishing.